I'm Anne Glover. I'm a professor of molecular and cell biology at the University of Aberdeen. So I got my first degree at Edinburgh University and that was in biochemistry. And then when I went on to do my PhD at Cambridge University, I moved more into microbial biochemistry and started working with very interesting bacteria, halobacteria, that grow in very high salt concentrations. And never looked back after I started working with microbes and have kind of been working with them almost the whole time since. Latterly in my career, I became much more interested in how we use the knowledge generated by science in policy making. And so I was Chief Scientific Advisor for Scotland and then after that moved on uh, for the last three years as the Chief Scientific Advisor to the President of the European Commission. And in both of those roles, particularly the one in Europe, is looking at how we might improve the use of evidence and policy making. If you didn't use evidence and policy making, what we would get would be the philosophical views of the elected party at the time in government. And that would probably mean that policies would be short-lived, they wouldn't be very robust, they would be open to criticism, um, and indeed they may not be very effective. So for me, the best way to deliver effective policy making is to, sure, to ensure you have an evidential base. Uh, I mean, something people would be very familiar with is uh, something like um, passive smoking. And so the evidence around what passive smoking does in terms of bronchial disease and of people who are not doing the actual smoking but who are just around in smoke-filled rooms and so on. The evidence was very strong and in the UK all the, the main UK government and devolved governments brought in legislation based on that evidence and that has reaped great rewards in terms of decreasing the number of people suffering from respiratory disease and so on. So a really effective policy based on evidence. So first of all, it's how you gather the evidence. And so lots of people have views on things, but they're not all backed up by coherent, credible evidence base. So that's where scientists, professional scientists, can really be valuable. So they can uh, look at evidence, they can tell us uh, what, we, what is credible evidence, what's peer-reviewed and what can be used, and what is more opinion rather than evidence. I think that the gathering of evidence and also the decision making based on that evidence, that should be transparent so that people can interrogate that and understand the evidence that what was used and what was discounted in the, in the gathering and using of that evidence. I, I would also add that there are other factors. So it may well be that the evidence base would tell government that what you should do is develop a policy to go in one direction. But there might be other factors to take into account. These could be ethical issues, they could be economic, they could be social, uh, philosophical. And I think it is legitimate for government to ignore the evidence and go off in another direction, but only if they are transparent and coherent about why they are ignoring the evidence. So microbiologists have a particular challenge as scientists because what we work with is very small and you can't see it. And so as a result, uh, people find it hard to communicate about microbiology and what we do. So I think there's a real obligation and a challenge, an interesting challenge for microbiologists to think about how they talk about microbes, how they convey the importance of microbes. Without them, we really wouldn't be on the planet. Uh, so they couldn't get more important than that. And, and to make it a, a particular effort on everybody's behalf to go out and speak to kids, very young ones, right through to very old ones. That's not just kids, that's adults too. To talk about the wonder of microbiology. It's a little bit like space science. You know, we can't see an awful lot of that either but yet people are very enthused by it. That's our challenge as microbiologists, is to get people enthused about what we do.